Yes, fight fans, welcome back to another episode of the Mob Pre-Fight Previews and Predictions. You're listening today again with Jordan. Going to be bringing you a preview of the upcoming bout between Josh Warrington and Mexico's Maurizio Lara at the Emerald Headingley Stadium in Leeds on Saturday the 4th of September. Before we get into it, hit like for me, hit subscribe, drop us any comments down below, let us know your thoughts. Let's get stuck into this fight. Warrington versus Lara 2 then. Or Lara versus Warrington 2, I should say. Looking forward to this one. Going to be a very, very big night of boxing at Leeds. Just like to say, I'm actually personally going to be attending this fight. I'll be in that Leeds crowd. And I can't wait for that atmosphere. Big, big night of boxing. Got Conor Ben versus Granados on the undercard. The fight's going to be contested over 12 rounds in the featherweight division. The much anticipated rematch between Warrington and Lara after Lara sensationally stopped Josh Warrington in the ninth round back in London at the start of the year. Now, I do think in this fight the crowd played a really big factor in Josh Warrington's performance. He's a little bit flat. Not the Josh Warrington we're used to seeing. And I do think that played a huge role in the result. This time round, you could not have a more opposite end of the spectrum. 20,000 passionate Leeds fans and a Welshman over here screaming for Josh Warrington to get his revenge over Lara and get back on track in his career. Now we know Warrington has got the pedigree, got the ability to beat Lara already beaten the likes of Lee Selby and Cole Frampton, legends at that weight. Now, moving on to Lara, unexpected win for the 23-year-old, does carry great power, got two losses on his record though, although they were when he was 16 and 19 years of age respectively, so don't think we can read too much into those, but I think it's fair to say that Josh Warrington is more than capable of winning this fight. Now, my concern for Warrington is that this is not the biggest fight of his career. You know, arguably you could say it is because it's, you know, the most recent fight of his career that he's lost. However, the fights against Frampton and against Selby were far, far bigger fights on the whole. So the main issue you see here is it being probably the biggest fight ever in Maurizio Lara's life and not the biggest fight ever for Josh Warrington. For me, that makes this a 50-50. Now, I know maybe that would be a bit controversial to hear, but I think this fight is close. I think Lara has every ability to potentially cause the upset again. He knows he can hurt Warrington. He's obviously got really good power anyway from his record, now showing he's got power at this level. So I think he's going to go into this fight more prepared. He's going to go into the fight more confident and knowing exactly what he needs to do to get the win. This fight is all about Josh Warrington. What has he got left mentally? What is he going to bring to the table? Is he the type of character that will brush the loss aside, come back and wipe the floor with Maurizio Lara? We're going to find out a lot more, I believe, about Josh Warrington in this rematch than we have so far. This is going to be make or break for him. He's only 30 years old. He's still young. He's still got a few good years left in this game. So the question will be how much does he want it and what sort of mental edge does he carry? Because it's the first defeat of his career. He's 30-1. and one. So this is going to be a real telling sign of what kind of fighter we have in Josh Warrington. Now, I'll be honest. All the way looking up to getting this prediction out, I was edging towards Maurizio Lara. Because I felt like he was going to go into this fight with all the confidence in the world and potentially stop Josh Warrington again. But I have made a last minute change of heart. I'm going to be there in Leeds on the 4th of September. And I'm not from Leeds. I'm from South Wales. But the reason I'm going to be there is because I know what the atmosphere is going to be like. That's why I've bought my tickets. And that made me think, when you watch any sport lately that's been back since the pandemic, the crowd has played a huge role in the results, as we thought they would. And I do now feel like that Leeds crowd can really help Josh Warrington get out of the line. I can imagine him coming out in his entrance, how fired up he'd be. 
how fit he'll be for this fight. I can imagine this being one of Josh Warrington's best performances. And after what happened with Selby and Frampton, who would bet against Josh Warrington? So, last minute change of heart for me. But I'm going with Josh Warrington by a points decision. Potentially, you could look at a late stoppage. Lara has been stopped before. But I'm going to go with points. I'm going to go with Josh Warrington. I'm going there to back him anyway. I'm going there to support him. So I'm going to stick with that. Josh Warrington, go out there, get it done. And let's enjoy a great night of boxing at Leeds. A great night at the Headingley Stadium. Listen again with Jordan from the Mob Predictions. Again, drop me any comments down below. What are your thoughts on this fight? Who do you think takes it? Thanks again, and I'll catch you soon.